So today in the United States, we got a new president, Biden. And there's a lot of people out there who are thinking, amazing, Biden, we're going to have a good time now. And a bunch of people out there thinking, Biden, Trump's gone. We're going to have a horrible time right now. And so I just want to talk about the fact that this is... It's miswanting, for one thing. There's a bunch of people out there who wanted Biden to win. Uh, there's a bunch of people who wanted Trump to win. And in both cases, they were placing their personal lives and how happy and, you know, free and everything that they are going to be based on the president. That is, they believe the president could save them. So this is drama triangle dynamics. Let's see here. And this is the cognitive behavioral therapy chart I've talked about in the past, where our thoughts about a situation like A, Biden is our president. That is the activating life events. B, because people have different beliefs, they have different emotions around this. You tell somebody who believes Biden will be great for the com country and they will have happy emotions. If you tell somebody Biden won and they think that he's going to be bad for the country, they're going to have negative emotions. It's because of their belief that this happens. And so we've got this whole drama triangle dynamics where they think that the president of the United States is somehow going to save them. Personally, I think this is a bit of idolatry and idolatry will never stand. It's not going to last. And also the people who think that Biden is going to save things are going to find out that that's not the case. This is the case with Miss Wanting. It's kind of, kind of like they're in the honeymoon phase right now. Um, just like Republicans were when Trump won. There's this honeymoon phase where they think, wow, everything's going to be awesome. And then it doesn't actually happen the way they thought it was going to. Um, so that's what's going to happen here. If you're placing Trump or Biden as the savior, that means that somehow you were the victim who needed saving and that there was a persecutor out there because you believe there's a persecutor out there that's not going to help you stay safe and happy, then you will continue to have this result in your life, regardless of who wins or who doesn't win. It's a never-ending drama triangle. And so rather than a circle, it just goes round and round like a merry-go-round. And that's why we need to change our beliefs, take personal responsibility rather than blaming somebody else for why we're going to have a good time and we can have a good time. Now, I don't think Biden's policies are great because I believe in freedom, and I think that that's gonna be clamped down on. However, we have the ability to feel free regardless of what they are doing. There are plenty of ways that you can affirm that you are free, and so I know that this is actually just a step in getting us free. There are a large population of the United States who want freedom. You know, even in the Democrats, they want freedom too. The thing is, they think that somebody else is going to give it to them, the savior, Biden, and that's not what's going to happen. And so we have to take personal responsibility, regardless of your political beliefs, and have a good time. The way to do this is to change your beliefs, to not see this as a negative, and to see it as a positive. If you do see it as a positive, you'll have a good time. However, You've got to take personal responsibility for what's going on in your life. You can't just say like, oh, this thing sucks. I'm going to wait for Biden to fix it. you got to try to fix it yourself. If you think somebody else is a problem, you've got an issue because you think they're the problem and you're not taking personal responsibility. You're blame shifting and scapegoating. And so that's never going to work out. It just is never going to work out. You need to take personal responsibility for how you feel. And to do that, you have to work with your beliefs and try to be positive. And this isn't like a lot of people might call it, you know, looking for the silver lining. And yes, that's what is really going on. However, the law of attraction, the belief in God, source, something out there that's creating this world, it's a faith. Yes, it's a faith in believing that everything is working out, that there is a plan. And I don't mean a Q plan. I don't not talking about conspiracy theories. I'm saying that there is a plan by our creator and everything is working out the way it's supposed to. And rather than idolatry, um, idolize, you know, these different conspiracy theories and these different presidents and thinking that they're all going to save everything for us, we just trust God, 
or a source or, you know, the universe, however you want to call it, there is a very amazing plan where everything is working out for us. And just because we can't see it right now doesn't mean that it's not the case. And so I am really feeling that vibration about how everything is working out. And like, it's just, it's, I guess it's huge faith and plenty of people in the religious belief, um, you know, there are various religions out there and they can all believe that everything is working out because there is a larger, a larger intelligence, whatever you want to call it out there that is understanding that everything is working out. This world was built on the law of attraction, which brings freedom. The law of attraction states that you can have whatever kind of life you want because you can control your thoughts, you can control your mind, and nobody else has that power. They may try to control the way you think, but you are ultimately the one who controls what you think. And that means you are always free. You're always free to change your beliefs. You're always free to change your thoughts. You're always free to change your world because of that. We can do this through peace and love and really stop worrying about what other people are doing and mind your own business as I discussed in my other video, the last video on YouTube that I did. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll also leave a link below to my article that is about taking control of your life, taking responsibility. And you can see that on the as above below website. There's the link there and I'll leave it below. And feel free to leave comments and talk about this with me if you don't agree. But I do have this faith. And if you have a faith in a God or a source or the universe, then you should know that everything's working out for you. It is. There's a higher intelligence at work. And we know this when we look back at the negative things that happened, the quote unquote negative things that happened in our life beforehand, because we can see all the positives that came out from it. We can see backwards and understand how everything is working out for us. And through that, we can have faith that everything else in the future will work out for us. A lot of people miss want because they think, they predict that a certain thing will cause a better life for them. There's a lot of people who predicted that a Trump win would cause a better life for them. And there's a lot of people that predicted that a Biden win would cause a better life for them. They are predicting these things, but they are miswanting because they don't realize that the power actually lies within them and how they think and how they interact with the world. And if you mind, mind your own business, just minded your own business, and if you focus on being positive, and healing yourself, healing any inner traumas and things like that, then you will have a positive life. You can. And yes, you have to go through some of those trauma healing processes, which might not feel so great. However, once you do that, and I do it with the whole Ponopono prayer and things like that as I've discussed, but once you do that, then you can go forward without attracting the same things that needed he healing. You know, if you have inner healing about let's say you were, your dad was very strict and you're worried about having a very strict, um, you know, president or boss or whatever it's going on in your life. If you're worried about that, it's because you have, you know, daddy issues. It's hard. You know, it's so simple, let's say. But if you heal that, if you heal those inner wounds that you have, then you won't be sort of pressed down by your bosses, by your president, etc. You will have more freedom. So as you deal with your personal inner trauma, then you will have a much freer and happier life. And so that's why it's totally worth it. And so you can check out my video beforehand, the one I just talked about, the drama triangle, minding your own business and my article. And I hope you have a great day and think positive. Love you all. Namaste.